Hi again then guys and welcome to the second news roundup video that I mentioned of course I would be doing today and this one is another significant record being broken by a hypercar brand and of course recently Bugatti hit 304 miles per hour which was very cool now though we have more of an acceleration record in fact a combination of acceleration and braking the 0 to 400 kilometers to 0 time and speed record so Koenigsegg already had this record. <laughs> Back in 2017, the Agera RS did it in 36.4 seconds, which at the time was already five and a half seconds quicker than the Bugatti Chiron. So they've actually beaten themselves yet again, opening up that gap even more between themselves and the Chiron, because they've gone from 36.4 seconds to now 31.5, technically 31.49, in the Regera. Of course, a car that's very well known for its transmission, or lack thereof. One of my favourite Koenigseggs, probably the most forward-thinking car they've ever produced. And we all knew it was fast, but yeah, that's, that's seriously fast. <laughs> so 31.4 seconds to go from a standing start to 249 miles per hour, or 400 kilometres per hour, and then back to zero. So of course, it's not just a test of acceleration. It's stopping power as well. So one of the huge advantages that a Koenigsegg has over something like a Bugatti is that it's so much lighter. And although for acceleration that doesn't make as big of a difference off the line, for instance, it makes a massive difference to slowing the car down. It's the same principle as trying to slow down a train. The more weight you have, the longer it's going to take. So slowing down a Koenigsegg is a much easier task than slowing down a Bugatti. So Koenigsegg have beaten themselves. They've got a pretty tasty record there. Doubtless they will still be aiming for that 300 mile per hour mark one way or another maybe with the Regera maybe with the uh, Yesco and of course we have SSC and Hennessy waiting in the wings as well my money's still on the Twitara for that 300 mile per hour production mark but we'll have to wait and see of course but of course a very interesting news update it's a time of records being broken once again kind of like a flashback to the mid 2000s actually with the Veyron and the Koenigsegg CCR and the original Ultimate Aero so of course stick around on the channel for more news like this and for now as always thanks for watching how did you go today it was amazing the car and Sony just broke a couple of new world records the Regera did exactly what it was supposed to do the fastest car ever to 400 whoever gets their first wins that's the motto of the Regera that's all good and dandy but what about the top speed well that's for another car I mean this this is huge top speed but we have faster top speeds cars of course mm -hmm. hold my beer